Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I uh, have been uh, experiencing a series of headaches over the past couple of weeks. Now, this could be related to me no longer uh, drinking caffeine uh, and, and, or at least decreasing it. Uh, I, I did have a decaf espresso the other day. I've also stopped drinking unboxing juice on uh, a daily basis. Uh, now I'm, I'm relegating it really towards maybe once a week, towards the end of the week as a way to unwind. Uh, but these headaches keep coming in at the end of the day and then I wake up and I'm completely refreshed. So I went to the doctor and the doctor said, that's what you get for jumping on the bed. No, that's not what he said. Uh, he said, well, it sounds to me a lot like a tension headache. I'm like, oh, okay. So today I've been doing my best to kind of relax, chill, not be so stressed, to try to relax these muscles so that hopefully this evening, I will not have a headache. Of course, I'm also staying hydrated, drinking my uh, juice. It's not very exciting juice, it's just water. It's just more fun to say juice, really. Uh, but a big part of your health could actually play into sleep. Now granted, I, I, I could say that it's my bed that makes me wake up refreshed. And, and I guess to a certain degree, that is true. Uh, I do not wake up with aches or pains. Uh, I have had uh, very little trouble sleeping over the past couple of weeks after quitting uh, drinking wine. Yes, that's the real word for an unboxing juice. Uh, or uh, And I'm, I'm well over the age of 21. Uh, or coffee. So cutting out caffeine and alcohol has made it such that I'm sleeping so much better. I had no idea. So, uh, you know... I would have imagined it's the bed, it's making me toss and turn. It's stress, it's making me toss and turn. A lot of these things kind of combined. Uh, but there is bed technology out there. Now you may think, ah, oh, mattress is a mattress is a mattress. And some people say that. That is absolutely true. I mean, one mattress is as good as another mattress. And in certain cases, it is. Have you heard of this technology called Sleep Number? Uh, apparently, now I've never tried it myself. I've looked into it because it was kind of neat because, you know, I like a mattress that's more firm. I think Diana likes a mattress that's softer. And to find a soft, firm mattress that's all in one, it just doesn't exist, right? I mean, it's, it's not going to happen. So uh, instead, I have to, she kicks me in the middle of the night. She's like, oh, we need a new mattress. I'm like, ah, I know, I know. So what we did was we, we play, uh, placed a, a foam like a, a, a layer of foam, like the hard foam on top of the existing mattress. And that seemed to help somewhat. She appreciated that. Um, I don't like it as much, but sleep hasn't been hurt. And that's the number one job for the bed to help you sleep better. So sleep number is like, it's an air mattress. And uh, you can inflate or deflate depending on how you like that comfort level. Uh, but the thing is, when we were doing research on sleep number beds, people who used to sell sleep number beds say that they're not all they're cracked up to be. Never slept on one before. Sounds really nice to have something that could adjust to however I want my, my comfort level to be. Uh, but apparently, they're air mattresses that can break easily. Now, the advantage, again, is that you can adjust uh, you know, according to however you want it to be, and your partner could adjust independently of yourself. Uh, you know, replacement parts could be uh, shipped in if, if something goes wrong, but then you have to rely on a technician for the bed, and they tend to be a bit more pricey. Uh, there's a lot of points where it could possibly break down. The pump, hoses, air chambers, foam padding, cover, uh, and granted, if you have a sleep number bed, and I even asked this a few weeks ago, I'm like, you know, we're look, thinking about getting a, a mattress. I, you know, and largely because I was having problems with my sleep. Um, this is before I, I had, uh, had quit, uh, you know, putting things into my body that was were likely disrupting my sleep. Uh, and a lot of people came back and said no. They actually had recommended something, uh, something else. So uh, I'm looking for the best bed technology that's going to work, right? Uh, you, you know, to me... What's the, how much are you willing to pay for a good night of sleep? You know, it's, it's, it's priceless to me because it's just something you're going to hold on to for a good five or 10 years on, on average for a mattress. So, uh, we did our research on how sleep number beds work. If you are interested in all at all in, in this product, uh, the advantages, disadvantages, and even usage tips, uh, I gotta tell you after reading the research, I don't think I'm very inclined uh, to get a sleep number bed. I, I may go a completely other direction uh, when they go on sale again. A sand mattress? Well, I guess it could work. You could build castles, you know, if you have insomnia. Oh, look at that. Your partner might go, knock it off and try to sleep. 
I hope they don't sound like that, you know. But you never know when you wake up someone in the middle of the night, they they could sound like that. So, uh, curious to know uh, what bed you sleep in. Uh, if you like it, let me know because uh, it just it would go on the list of things for us to look at when we're looking for a new bed. Looking to, uh, you know, I guess make our bed a, a little geekier if we can. <laughs>